Hello everyone. In this session, we will be discussing regarding an important topic, the relation between coccidinia and constipation. Important question which we will try to answer is, does tailbone pain cause constipation or does constipation cause tailbone pain? Before we try to understand, answer this question, let us learn some basics. Let us um, understand some basics. In this picture, you will have to know what is rectum and what is coccyx. Pain emanating from the coccyx is called coccidinia. Coccyx is also called tailbone and the pain from coccyx is known as a tailbone pain. So coccyx is also known as a tailbone. So pain arising from coccyx is known as a tailbone pain. See this picture. This is a vertebral column. This is a sacrum and the tip of the vertebral column which lies in between both your buttocks is known as the tailbone. So this is the tailbone or the coccyx. And what is rectum? Rectum is the last part of our intestine. This is part of our intestine which carries our bubble, which carries our feces. So in this picture, this is the rectum. So this is the rectum. So you will have to understand that the rectum which carries our feces is just in front of the coccyx or the tailbone. Now, let us come to the first part of the question. Does constipation cause coccidinia? See this picture. This is example. This picture shows the rectum which is filled with feces. Okay. So this is rectum which is filled with feces. This patient has constipation. So because of constipation, when the patient tries to pass feces, this is the direction of the pressure which he applies. So when you apply more pressure, this hard feces comes and will hit the tailbone. So this causes inflammation or injury to the tailbone. So this causes tailbone pain. So, so probably our first answer is clear. So does constipation cause tailbone pain? Answer is yes. Constipation causes tailbone pain. Let us come to the second part of the question. Does an abnormal coccyx cause constipation? See this picture of a patient who is suffering from tailbone pain and coccyx. The normal coccyx has a slight smooth curve. But in this patient, the coccyx is abnormally bent forward. This is known as an antiverted coccyx. That is, antiverted coccyx is a coccyx which is abnormally bent forward. And also, during passes of the passage of the bubble, the coccyx slightly moves forward and back. This is to accommodate the feces which is come. So, if the coccyx is not mobile, even then it will obstruct the normal bubble movements. So the second part of the question, does an abnormal coccyx cause constipation? And the answer is yes. So, so constipation causes coccidinia and an abnormal coccyx also causes constipation. And what happens? This is very tricky. See, whenever there is a coccidinia, due to any cause, it causes reflex contraction of the perianal muscles. This is our rectum, which is, which is carrying feces. And these are the perianal muscles. So any pain in the coccyx will cause reflex spasm of the perianal muscles. So this reflex spasm causes constriction of the rectum. This exacerbates constipation. That is, coccidinia due to any cause. Coccidinia, because of any cause, will cause will exacerbate constipation, and this constipation will exacerbate coccidinia. So this creates a vicious circle. That is, coccidinia increasing constipation, constipation increasing coccidinia. 
this is any this is a case which has been published in the literature let us see clearly a 67 year old male patient presented with a two and a half year history of worsening rectal pain imagine two and a half year what is the pain the pain develops an hour before defecation and lasts for several hours after defecation otherwise everything was normal he has some pain while he is sitting on a hard surface hard surface the rectal pain so of course he will go to a colorectal surgeon all the investigations were normal then the patient had to uh, happen to see an orthopedic surgeon he has found that there was a palpation tenderness over the tip of the coccyx all the other features were normal because there was pain on the coccyx he has taken an mri scan of the pelvis which showed an abnormally forward bended coccyx so let me see so he has found this coccyx was abnormally bent bent angulated forward and this was indenting the rectum so voila he found the cause of constipation and that constipation was because of an anteriorly angulated coccyx so he underwent a standard coccygectomy which is a surgical treatment for coccydynia in which we remove the abnormal coccyx and the patient was cured so let us come to the conclusion constipation can cause coccydynia and also an abnormal coccyx can cause constipation so constipation can be a cause of coccydynia and it can also be a result of coccydynia but in either case coccydynia leads to reflex spasm of the perianal muscles exacerbating constipation and this starts a vicious circle so how do you treat should i treat constipation first or should i treat coccydynia where constipation is the cause or result it needs to be treated either cause you need to treat the patient if constipation is the cause you just give simple laxatives high fiber diet and increase the patient of an active daily life it should relieve both the constipation and the tailbone pain but if abnormal coccyx is the cause we will have to treat simultaneously the abnormal coccyx which may be either manipulation or surgery and also treat the constipation with laxatives to break the vicious circle so hope i have made it clear is constipation the cause of coccydynia or coccydynia the cause of constipation if you have any further doubts you can leave a message in the comment section or you can take an appointment over the number which is scrolling down and i'm dr kalyan i'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon working in aware global gynecology hospital hyderabad if any of your relatives or friends or colleagues are suffering from tailbone pain do share this video with them it may be useful to them do subscribe to my channel thank you